Hey YouTubers, it's J and B from JB Coins Inc. And we have something that we've been wanting to do for a while. We've been curious. We've all seen the ads, uh, I'm sure. Um, so we got curious and thought, what do you get when you buy a roll of AU Mercury Dimes from Atmex? And that's what it says here is 50 roll AU Mercury Dime, 90%. Now the question is, they have in their ad, and, and we're not sponsored by them, by the way, for this video. This is We're doing this for our collection, basically. Um, see if we can improve any dates we have, that kind of thing. But what we don't know, because they have, um, they have the disclaimer on their ad for this, that they could all be one date or they could be multiple dates. And on this particular roll, got two enders. Um, so we have no idea. So, use a screwdriver for a change and open this up very carefully. I think I'll leave this end closed so they don't just spill out all over the place. And as you can see, we're wearing my favorite white clothes, which I <laughs> so much love to wear. But when it's something like this, sure, absolutely, you know. In fact, I'm going to tear a little less than that. So. Oh, that looks awful pretty. So let's see what we got. Whoops. Slippery little buggers. Looks like 41. Get the magnifier out. Right out of the gate. Get the magnifier out. <laughs> Yeah, and a good thing, too, because that's a 43, not a 41. I don't know how I got 41 out of that. <laughs> yeah, no full, no full, uh, full bands. So 1943. I'm sure I'm going to need this for all of these, so I might as well just leave it out. Pull out the next one. 1945. Hmm. No mint mark. No full bands. So we'll leave a little separation there. 45, 43. That one's real shiny. That is a really nice 43. This one, I think, has full bands. This is a 43. And if it's not full bands, it's really close. But that's very pretty. So I think we'll set that off to the side here. Next. 42. So yeah, we got mixed years here. That's cool. Forty two. Forty four. Well, this one's got a little bit of scuffing on the face, but it's still a very nice mark. So I'm going by year two, three, four, five. So far, we got war years. That one's got a little patina or something on it. 45. Yeah, this one's a 43. 
this one's missing the center bend completely. So this one's got a little more wear on it. Not quite as nice as the first couple. Forty two. Forty four again, some scuffing on the cheek. See right there. Black mark. So we do have mixed years, that's cool. Another 43 again with the little black scuff mark. Oops. Forty-five Denver, forty-five Denver. So put that one there. That one's pretty nice too. It's very nice actually. Thirty-six. Holy moly! Thirty-six Philadelphia. That's pretty nice. Whoa, as I drop it. So that's a very nice 36. Nineteen forty-three. Another beauty. Wow. Another Denver. So we got 42, 43. So we gotta move these up. Mark. Another beautiful forty three. Philly. Forty four. Wow. Forty four Philly. that one over there actually I put that 45 D over there as well so far and the 36 of course B will check these after I do 42 42 Philly Nineteen forty, cool. Very nice nineteen forty. Nineteen forty Philly. Beauty. So far I'm thinking that this was worth doing. <laughs> it's like wow, cool. I mean we've got a nice set, but there's some really nice coins in here. 1944 Philly, another beauty. 41, not quite as nice as the other ones. I think that's our first 41. 37. to the 36 45 nice there 
is a little nicer, 41. Another nice 41. This is a Denver. Denver it's got a little patina on the back what is it what is it 44 bit of a dirty bird oh <laughs> but it's an S mark is dirty, but it is an AU and it is an S. So 44S. Time to tear some more wrapper off. For those that asked during our live streams why we don't do dimes or quarters <laughs> during our live streams, this is why, because they're so tiny, you need magnifiers. There's a 44S. Wow. And a 1940 Denver. Still got quite a bit of roll left to go through here. Beautiful 1940. Oh, wow. S. Holy cow. Forty-five, not quite as nice as what we've been seeing. Denver, got some scuffing going on it. So forty-five Denver over here. Oops. Had a feeling that was going to fall over. Forty-five. S. Wow. Oh. That would be why I don't usually wear these, but that's okay. Uh, so I actually have to flip this around because it's an S. Yep. Because it should be 45 D and S right there. Oh, I just knocked the stack over. Might as well just spread it out. Okie doke. 44. S. Oh, man. That's a nice one, too. 29. Now, this one is not AU. And I can't tell if it had a mint mark. It's got... It's got a fair amount of wear on it compared to these other ones. It's a 29. So that goes way up here. That's off the camera. So I got to put this over here somewhere. 29. There we go. 42. Denver. Another beauty. Mm 
42. Philly. Another beauty. Oh, really pretty 41. There's the reverse. And the obverse. 41's up here somewhere. <laughs> 37. This is a nice 37, too. Wow. There's the reverse. That's a beauty. Forty-four. This one's in nice shape too. Another S. Well, so far we got four forty-four S's there. There's a really nice forty-three. Philly. Forty-two. Nice forty-one. Really nice, 45. Another S. Holy cow. This is a 45 S. Those are just barely showing down there. But those are 45 S's on the bottom here. Forty-four, so-so, got a booger on it there, a little black, black booger, but uh, it's a Denver. So we put that one over here. Forty-one. Looks pretty nice. Another gorgeous 37. Oh my gosh. Forty-three, not quite as nice as what the others were, but again, it's an S. And nothing to sneeze at. It's not. It's not that it's ugly or anything. It's just, you know. You look at those five. These two kind of stand out, but not done with the roll yet. So, forty-two. goes through she can see if she wants to reorganize how I got these 43 and this one could be full bands it's possible so I'll put that one off to the side I think that's up too high Yeah, 
these come down one row. So we're getting down to the end of it here. Another 1940. This one's really pretty. Holy cow. So there's the reverse. Oh, gosh. You hate when you hear that silver clunk when you're doing this. Look at that. 1940. Oh, man. Three more to go. 45. God, this one's gorgeous, too. Got one scratch from her chin to the L. You know, for a 75, 76 year old coin. <laughs> it's like... Forty three. Okay, there's the reverse on the forty three. There's the face. I got I got to tell you I'm I am pleasantly surprised by this because their mixed dates 1940 and another S holy cow I'll show you that last one So there's the reverse with the S mint mark down here by the torch on the left side and then There's the face. That's a 71-year-old 71, 71 coin. That is a beauty. Now, just from the first pass through those coins and not even comparing them to our collection, we've got all of these coins over here, to me, seem to be the nicest of what I pulled out. So that's not to say that this one or this one or these or that or those five or these two are bad it's just look at how many there are of the same coin over here so when b looks at these this is going to be really interesting so what do you guys think um these are like i said uh atmex 50 coin roll au 90 percent silver mercury dime that's how they're advertised we really like the way this roll came out uh pleasantly surprised like i said B's going to go over this and see what coins, if any, that she feels um, we can upgrade our collection. And she's told me that I don't get to keep them. So, <laughs> um, so whatever we don't keep, we're going to wind up selling. So keep your eyes peeled um, for upcoming sales and possibly auctions. And um, hope you guys like this down below. In the comments section, please leave a comment whether or not you like these, whether you think it was worth the money. We're just kind of curious. And um, until next time, J&B.